Reading, not reading. Out loud, we are a silence, isn't it thought? Conglomerate purpose, the old head considering what to say. Ought one be bound to it? But I can't be thinking like this. I am instead reading. I'm trying to read against the thought of what to say, to be bound to, to say and be bound to it. But not even that, not the reading, not the thought of what to say, but a vision, one that moves. It moves like a car or a train or just like light. You and I are intimate. I read about the forest with you nearby. I read and you are nearby. Moving the vision, it is a memory of the big lake and the city, a memory of the mornings, every morning, the look of the lake past the park and the bike path. You would know what I mean if I said this to you, if I read this to you now, but I don't show it. You are nearby, the memory runs, it runs like writing runs, an executable. I am reading, but I am not reading. You are nearby. We are on a beach, a stony beach. There are gulls, children flying kites. I should mention the forest is soft in this reading. They are by a stream, pausing, attending to themselves, in the midst of a plan, what to say and be bound by. But I am not reading. You are nearby. Here, I think, is how to say it.